hello everyone so we will continue that topic in the previous 5 to 6 videos we learned the topic abstract class we learned the topic interface and both are the examples of polymorphism because we can achieve multiple forms by using the same thing by using the same definition so now the question comes what is the difference between a abstract class and interface our next topic is what is the difference between a abstract class and interface we already did the practical we already covered the practical part everything so it will be very easy to understand these differences now what is the first difference in abstract class we have at least one abstract method others can be non abstract methods suppose if i will show you my abstract class which i created so in this abstract class we took one abstract methods but i can take others as non abstract method not an issue but if you remember in interface when we created the interface all methods will be abstract method because you cannot write a code in any of the methods. so the first difference between a abstract class and interface is in interface the prerequisite is only one method should be abstract at least one should be abstract at least others can be abstract or non abstract not an issue but in interface all methods are abstract all are abstract now we'll go for second difference in abstract class whenever you give a method suppose if i'm going for method you can give the visibility as public private protected yes in a class we have this option you can go for public private protected but in interface all methods are public by default there is no such option now third thing if you remember when we created the sub classes using the abstract class we redefined the method into sub classes so that we can write a code into that if i will show you the up sub classes which we created using abstract class i'll just show you that class sub classes which you created yes suppose i'll go for this class we passed our abstract class here and if you remember when we this method appeared we got a error that you have to redefine that method so we redefined that method and then we wrote the logic in that method but in interface you have not done this thing suppose with the help of this interface when you created this sub class with the help of this interface when you created this sub class you have not redefined the method so whenever you are creating sub classes using the abstract class you have to redefine the method you need to redefine the abstract method in the sub classes so that you can write the or you can do the implementation so that you can write a code into that but in case of interface there is no need to click on the redefine button if i will go to this particular sub class and you can see the redefine button is disabled is disabled itself. 
so we can write the logic by simply double clicking you can write the logic simply by double clicking so the third important difference is in case of abstract class whenever you are creating the sub classes from the abstract class you need to redefine the method so that you can write the code in that method but in case of interface there is no need to click on the redefine button anyways redefine button is disabled you simply have to double click and you can write the code in that particular method now this is the most important point and maximum time based upon this we will decide we have to create a abstract class or we have to create a interface now firstly i will come on to what is multiple inheritance suppose what is inheritance creating a suppose i am saying i have a class 1 we already covered the topic inheritance i have a class 1 i have a class 2 i am creating a class 2 using class 1 it means i am inheriting a class from this particular class we already covered it will be called as parent class and it will be called as your child class or sub class child class or sub class and it will be our parent class or super class but what is this inheritance this is your single inheritance because we have single parent single parent from the single parent you are creating a single child this is your single inheritance now suppose i am saying i have a class 1 i have a class 3 from these two classes if i am creating a child class that is called as multiple inheritance if it means you are creating a child class from multiple parent whenever you have the multiple parents in that case that inheritance is called as your multiple inheritance multiple inheritance now with the help of abstract class multiple inheritance is not possible but with the help of interfaces multiple inheritance is possible i'll put a stress on this particular point multiple inheritance is not possible using abstract class we'll see it means i cannot use multiple parent into a sub class i'll show you suppose this is my abstract class i created a sub class using this abstract class we went for property step and we pass the name of the super class have you seen at a time you can pass only how many super class one super class one super class if you can pass only one super class at a time it means it is your single inheritance it is not your multiple inheritance either you can pass this or you can pass this but both of the parent you cannot pass here because at a time you can only pass one super class so multiple inheritance is not possible using your abstract class but multiple inheritance is 
possible using interfaces in the next video we will cover how multiple inheritance is possible using interfaces thank you